Welcome back to the program. Well, radio veteran John Laws has sparked fury after admitting he demands his female staff wear short skirts. Here's what he had to say. You famously, of course, have all the women in your office wear skirts. True. Bare legs. True. Now, you can't do that anymore. I can. You still do? <laughs> you bet. They all wear skirts. We haven't had the Equal Opportunity Commission come round knocking on the door. And if they do, they can get stuff. Gee, that canned laughter was ill-timed, wasn't it? Let's go head-to-head -head now with Shelley Horton and Ian Skippen. Good morning, guys. Hey, Carlos. Hi, Shelley. Shelley. Look, Ooh. this is not just sexist. It's demeaning. It's revolting. The fact that he's saying that he demands that his female staff wear short skirts and bare legs because he likes to admire the female form implies that he's going off to the bathroom to pleasure himself afterwards. We can't, like, just push over this and say that it's just him being 81. It's inappropriate, it's illegal, and he should, should be taken off the airways. Skip. Hello, ma'am. Haven't you seen the size of my golden microphone? Please. It's so out of touch with reality, everybody knows he should be making them wear muffin tops, Shelley. Oh, please, Skip, don't make a joke about this. This is why he gets away with it. This is actually revolting, and we have laws to protect women from men like him. Well, I agree with Shelley on this, Skip. No, just, he is, it's time he we is John to... Law. Okay, look, he is John Laws. We know he's he's ba a bad boy, and he bad and he's boy got a, again. And that's he's got just a book so out. mild. No, he's a sexist pig. Oh well, he he may very well be that. But Skip's right too. He's got a book out. Now, how else is he going to sell it? <sighs> exactly. Uh, Please, no one buy the book. Okay, no one buy the book. And, and the hemlines have gone low anyway. So, and there's nothing wrong with a uh, female. No, you form, can't so. make light of the situation. You can't, Skip. That's it's ridiculous. It. How good's uncomfortable silence. Mm. Okay, let's move <laughs> I'm on. I'm not going to make light of it. I'm <laughs> sitting in my fury. <laughs> you are, you are, but it's done Redheads now. Redheads are always furious. Yeah, and, and let the audience continue with their fury. I'm sure you're feeling pretty strongly about it. Let us know how you feel on your social, our social media platforms. Now, a number of AFL greats are calling for a crackdown on sledging this morning after Carlton skipper Mark Murphy was targeted in a game against St Kilda on the weekend. We don't know exactly what the comments were, but it's believed they were about his wife. Um, Skip, on the field, fair game? Uh, to a degree. I mean, what goes on the field should stay on the field. Uh, if it's racist, uh, if it's um, about your wife, you know, there's been some horrendous sledges over time uh, and some famous ones on cricket fields. And uh, I know that Ian Healy, one of our nine commentators in cricket, uh, was famous for um, when uh, Arjuna Ranatunga, the Sri Lankan yeah. guy, was a bit overweight. And he said uh, when they were trying to get him out, they said, Put a Mars bar at a good length, he won't miss that. Yeah. So, but you know, when it comes to um, family and uh, racism, no, definitely not on. But what goes on the field should stay on the field. Um, I believe in both of those uh, things you just said. Um, Shelley, what do you reckon uh, in terms of on the field? Uh, sledging is sledging, it's part of the game, isn't it? I don't think it should be. I don't, it shows really poor sportsmanship. It sets a really bad example. Uh, these players are role models. And I think it should get to the point where if someone says something to you on the, on the sports field, you should be able to take them to court. Because a lot of what they're saying is actually incredibly offensive and you're not allowed to say it anywhere else. So it's not on. I think you should be able to beat a player through physical prowess mm. rather than because you've got a sharp tongue. The courts are already pretty busy. <laughs> oh, I don't Imagine mind. it. <laughs> Let's clean it up. Like we've got so many problems with our with our football players at the moment. This is not helping. I don't. I don't mind a little bit of sledging, but it's all it's all in the way it's done and what yep. is said. The context of it. I'll, I'll skip one final word. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you on that too, uh, Carl. Yeah. As long as it doesn't go overboard and um, yeah, and the and the racism thing, you know, definitely not on. Uh, Shelley, one final word on John Laws, maybe. <laughs> I, I, I'm Careful, actually, don't sledge. Uh, yeah, I'm at loss Hello, ma'am, you've words. won a John Law short skirt. I actually just feel that it's, it's not 1952 and it's time for him to be taken off the airways because he refuses to retire. Good on you. Thank you, you two. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Well, coming up, how binge eating is affecting the health.